Hi everyone, I'm going to continue the series of the awesome Dafyomi. We are on Tractate Kedushin, a new Tractate. I did see him for a second kitten just recently. And we are dealing with Daf Dalla today. That's page number four, naturally. And Kedushin, we've been talking about the last few days, just the video re regarding Etrog in uh, Gimel and in, um, in Daf Bet. I, I naturally did spoke about the start of the three ways Kedushin of a husband and a wife is actually done. And in today's stuff, it's interesting. We learn about the father's right of the girl to uh, marry them off. It could be, uh, especially if they are under the age of 12, or it could be 12 and a half in some cases. It had to be back inside the days. It may be prearranged marriages and all those things. So the Duff is speaking about the, uh, the father's right to get involved with in regards to uh, setting up the marriage within regards to the daughter with someone else. Or was, but we're talking about Talmudic times over here. There's different uh, cases. If the daughter would be under 12 and a half or 12, you ha will have different statuses. What if the daughter was back in time with Dick times, you know, it uh, could have been some of the, the, the people, different people were put into servitude, uh, servitude also. So that would obviously have ramifications if they would be freed and everything else. But a moral lesson from this, first of all, we talk about an ailonit in today's stuff. We speak about other different topics inside the Gemara with regards to a bogeret. We speak about the na'ara. It depends what age the girl is also and when the father has a right to get involved with the Kiddushin or not. So one thing, a message what must be taken from this. The father has a pivotal role as a parent in uh, the child's dealings with uh, who she marries, potentially, we can see at whatever age. Uh, what kind of husband she should have? One of the main important things to look inside the husband is good midot. Fantastic characteristics that potentially if one is looking to marry off their daughter to find someone that is a balmi dot, someone that's got excellent characteristics. That's very, very important, considered and everything else. It's a guy willing to learn, wants to learn Torah, not just a willing once as you've got the desire to do it. Because the Torah study, we know that person grows within regards to the Torah study that they do. Has a person got uh, a willingness to do kindness with others and all those things? These are attributes a father should look for uh, which would be suitable for his daughter potentially and someone that's active and uh is kind somebody that's got humility and everything else it's, so that's very very important for the father to look at it so it's it's really a duff where we learn that that the father has a pivotal role uh within regards to his daughter within regards to marriage with regards to finding a partner and everything else but what role the father actually nurtures inside the daughter, how he raises her up and everything else would very much determine what kind of husband she would potentially have. But the main thing is, is that if the husband, whatever characteristics, Hashim gives all of us, all different people, different characteristics, and it's all a gift, every characteristic. There's no intrinsic, when someone's got a desire for a specific thing, they've got a motivation for a specific thing, it can always be channeled for the good. And over here, that's one of the things that the father has to look in uh to if for a potential son law to have those characteristics and do everything that uh shemaim and do everything for the sake of Hashem. But guys, I would like to dedicate this uh Lilunishmat Sorry you did but Esther and Bezushem please listen to the other duffs here inside Masachet Kiddushin every single day. A nice video to get you guys going for the day and please look over the